This photo from October 1977 shows students of Jawaharlal Nehru University forcing Indira Gandhi to resign as the university's chancellor. Reading out demands and leading the students is the JNU student union president who had just come out from jail after the emergency Sita Ram Yachuri. Yachuri was born in Chennai and grew up in Hyderabad from where he moved to Delhi to finish his schooling. He went on to study at St Stephen's College and then Jawaharlal Nehru University. This is where his political journey started with the Students Federation of India or SFI which he joined in 1974. He became a member of the CPIM the very next year. He rose from a rank and file member to the very top being elected to the Central Committee in 1984, the Politburo in 1992 and eventually becoming the party's fifth general secretary in 2015. A post he still held when he died yuchuri played a key role in putting together a coalition that replaced the congress in power from 1996 to 1998 yet later in 2004 he also played a key role in drafting the common minimum program for the manmohan singh government to which the cpim lent outside support It was an equation that survived the shocking withdrawal of support by the left to the UAPA in 2008 over the Indo-US nuclear deal. While his political colleagues remembered Yachuri the politician, old friends went down memory lane to remember their walks from Rafi Mark to Chanakya to watch films. As a Rajya Sabha MP for 12 years till 2017, he remained a powerful voice of the opposition. At the end of his last tenure, he refused to take another term. He even stated in his farewell speech in the upper house that he came to the parliament reluctantly as he liked to be amongst the people on the streets. He was known for his strong and articulate speeches in the Rajya Sabha on issues ranging from the plight of the farmers and the working classes to the government's economic and foreign policies and the growing threat of communalism. fluent in hindi telugu tamil bangla and malayalam he was also well versed in the hindu mythology something he often used in his speeches to attack the bjp he remained one of the most vocal critics of the narendra modi government and its liberal economic policies his alliance building skills came to use again for the left in the run up to 2024 general elections In 2018, ahead of the 2019 Lok Sabha polls, the Central Committee of the CPIM had rejected the proposal of having any understanding or alliance with Congress. That is when Yachuri offered to resign as the General Secretary. However, in the run-up to the 2024 elections, as talks of a united opposition grouping together started off, and opposition parties got together to form the India Bloc. CPIM was a key part of it. This is because Yachuri remained as one of the important players of the alliance. His friendships beyond the party lines were visible when leaders from across the political spectrum sent their final regards to the veteran. A rare combination of an orator, strategist and ideologist, Yachuri was a charismatic leader. who could be a unifying force among like-minded parties he was undoubtedly one of the most timely leaders that cpim had in the 21st century